Therese, the Ohio Breeders' Championship two-year-old Colt Trot, second division. This for a purse of $30,221, sponsored by the United States Trotting Association. And these are the horses. Number one, Freezer Burnt. Earl Newcomer of Macomb, Ohio. It's the owner trainer, Ryan Stahl, drives the one. Freezer Burnt. Number two is Dinkadoo. Donna Jean Anderson of Circleville, Ohio. Brian Weaver trains and drives the two. Dink a do. Number three, he's striking. James Glass, Stanford, Kentucky, and Robert Kaufman of Columbus, Ohio. Danny Collins trains. Dave Hawk drives the three. He's striking. Number four, Discipline Sabra. Sam McNano of Monroe, Michigan, the owner trainer, Doug Rideout, drives the four, Discipline Sabra. Number five, Kentanka, C.E. Geeler, R.A. Wallace, H. Beatty Jr. and J. Sparks of Ohio, Hugh Beatty Jr. trains and drives the five, Kentanka. Number six, I'm a contender, HPS Consulting Incorporated, E.G. Trot. P. Martin, J. Paul of Ohio, Ed Greeno Sr. trains. Ed Greeno Jr. drives a six. I'm a contender. Two year old two running coach. Ohio Breeders' Championship, moving up and moving in behind the great coon starting gate on the upper turn. The gate swings into the stretch end. Here they come. Up and to running, Freezer Burn goes for the lead with he striking on the outside. As the race into the turn, Discipline Sabra gets away third. Can take up on the outside fourth. Racing fifth, I'm a contender. Racing sixth, Lester strikes again. Treading the field as they race to the backside. Dink a do. Down the backside they go. Freezer Burn on the inside. Here comes Dave Hawkins. He's striking up on the outside to take the lead at the quarter. 28 and 4. He into the turn and going to the 3 8. He's striking, opens up by four lengths on Freezer Burt. Racing third, Disselman Sabra. Fourth is Kenteka. Racing fifth, I'm a contender, goes off stride. Inside, Lester strikes again. True in the field, take a do. As the race over to the halfway point, he's striking on top by three lengths. Make it two now as Freezer Burt has closed the game. Halfway home, 59 and two fifths. Discipline Sabra comes to the outside. Now third and going after the leader. Can take a racing fourth. Fifth is Lester strikes again. Dinka do sixth and trending the field. I'm a contender. To the backside they go. He's striking on top by two and a quarter. On the outside, Discipline Sabra now second and closing. Racing third, Freezer Burke. Can take a goes to the the outside three quarters 130 midway around the final turn he's striking with the lead discipline sopper on the outside second freezer burnt racing third can take on the outside goes off stride lester strikes again now fourth off stride discipline sopper here comes freezer burnt on the move on the outside he's striking freezer burnt it's all he's striking what 59 and three fifths into the winner's circle number three he's striking james glass stanford kentucky robert kaufman of columbus ohio the owners danny collins trains winning his driver here at delaware this week dave hawk gets his fifth win of the week Two-year-old got him a striking sober to Taddy's comer. Home a winner in one, 59 and three. Final quarter, 29 and three fifths. Seventh win and eight this season for the Triple Crown winner. He's striking. Earnings now in excess of $120,000 on the year. World champion on both the half mile and 5 8 mile track in harness racing.
He's striking. Okay, and uh, he's striking a world champion two-year-old gelding. Danny Collins, his trainer. Danny, you've been in charge of the training duties for this two-year-old. Were you a little anxious at the top of the lane when he started to get a little fumbly gated? He got a little fumbly gated right past the quarter as well. And um, I think that he really needs a break. He's uh, getting off just a touch behind, I'd say, stifle area more than anything. And the tough miles that he's went all year, I mean, he can't just keep staying on their toes for, you know, that many starts. And it's good to get a break for him. And this will be the last start for him for the year. And is that something that just goes along with two-year-olds? Yes, I'd say so. Uh, some of them handle it a lot better than others. And his very first start was a track record. His second start was a national season's record. His third start was a world record. So, I mean, he's raced on his toes all year, and uh, he's never really had a break. It's a very, very good two-year-old uh, crop this year in Ohio. We've never tried to break a record. We just had to go there to win, and uh, it's very tough on a young horse. And, um, we, you know, he needs a break now to be good for him. So he's pretty much done everything you've asked of him. And and when you take this opportunity, especially with a young horse like this that's accomplished so much, you know, sometimes two-year-olds don't come back at three. So if you feel you stop with him, you feel you have the opportunity to come back next year with him? Yeah, I think uh, stopping in good shape is what he is. Uh, you know, we'll have a really good chance to come back with him next year. And Bart Glass and his sons especially, they uh, take care of the horses in the off season and they do a tremendous job with them. So he'll come back to me in the best possible shape he can be in and then it's up to me to go from there. So. Now he seems to have a great attitude on the racetrack. Has he always had that from the start? He was tough at first and before we gelded him he was uh, more play than he was business. And uh, I'd say after the first qualifier or so, then he changed his demeanor quite a bit. and. Uh, really calm and good around the barn but when he gets on the track he wants to race but he's a very well-mannered horse he races better from setting behind but the last couple races we've had to dictate the race a little bit so we've had to put him on the front he gets a little lackadaisical there so he's better from behind but on you know, a half mile you know you have to go to the front quite a bit so. now sometimes the public wonders what uh, what a part of equipment uh, what it is what it means and he's wearing a little hat what does that mean mm, uh, that's his little beanie uh, it's uh, it's mainly to uh, put on a horse to make sure the bridle fits tight or if they have a little sore spot on the crown of their head, it'll help protect it. But uh, in our case, it's mainly uh, my owners can see their horses out there and it looks good. So that's why we have them on our horses. And uh, it's a trademark, I would say, for us. Well, absolutely. It looks cute and the owners are over there having a great time. Congratulations to them. Congratulations to Danny Collins. He's striking winning this one, guys.